Hello YouTube, and welcome back to Steel Forest Welding and Forge. Today I am going to show you fine folks my setup for my leg vise. I am doing this video in response to a recent comment on my channel by Lens Garage who asked to see my leg vise setup. Absolutely. I want a big part of this channel to be education. If you folks have questions about metalworking or really anything shop related in general, please let me know. Um, I'm more than happy to share my knowledge with you fine folks. So I'm going to go ahead and bring the camera in for a closer look and walk you through this setup really quick. All right, so here is my leg vise setup. Now, some people may also call this a post vise in the blacksmithing community, for example. Um, for those who may not know, a post vise is just a type of vise that has this leg that is typically mounted into the ground, either in a concrete or, in this case, a piece of metal tubing. This was a very common vise you would see in a blacksmith shop. These were used before your typical bench vise became popular. So this setup here is fairly simple. Uh, for the first part of this process, you can actually see an earlier video of mine that I will have the link to in the description down below on how to square a piece of tubing to a piece of plate. And in that video, I am actually squaring this piece of tubing to this plate. So this plate right here is a piece of 23 uh, inch wide circular plate. It is 3 eighths of an inch, of an inch thick. This is a 4 and a half inch piece of tubing. This top here I believe is 12 inches wide and it is also 3 eighths of an inch thick. So this setup here, there's really nothing complicated to it really at all. All I did was do a I took a measurement of how tall I wanted my vise to be. Um, you want your vise to be at a height where you can use your body weight to kind of push down a little bit to maybe get a little bit of an extra bite out of your vise. So for that measurement, uh, I would leave that up to you folks to figure out what you would like. From there, I took that height, I added this extra height here on this tubing to bring that up to the correct height, then added that length onto this tubing here. I cut the tubing with a saw the uh, evolution saw that you have seen in my earlier videos. Then I did a dry fit up. And as I've mentioned before, a dry fit up is when you just put all of your parts together to make sure everything fits up correctly. So I just put this tube here on the plate, put this on top of the tube, and kind of finagled this vise here in a way where I could kind of see how everything looked to make sure everything would fit up nice. Took that apart, then I put my piece of tubing onto this plate squared it up, tacked it up. Then I did the same thing for this part up here, squared it up, tacked it up. Then I just drilled these four holes here, which I'll bring the camera in for a closer look in a minute, and then simply bolted it together. Then I added some uh, holding, or, uh, or racking here for my grinders to make it easier for me to hold my grinders. That way I'm not constantly picking up and putting down, walking back and forth to my bench to pick up my grinder with my wire wheel attachment or my grinder with my cutoff wheel. This makes uh, saving time a lot easier. So I'll go ahead and bring the camera for a closer look here and show you folks uh, a little bit more detail of what I mean. So here's just a quick close-up view of my setup. So as you can see all I did here was simply mount the vise to this pedestal here with just these four bolts. Nothing super spectacular. Just used some washers, lock washers, and I did use some nylon threaded nuts so that this way, just through impact and through moving this guy around, I don't have to worry about those loosening up as much. Now, I one recommendation I have for this guy is as you can see, the welds down here are kind of on the cold side. I did that because I knew that this plate would have the potential to warp and wobble like crazy if I welded it really hot. So if you do a similar setup at home, be sure you set your welder a little bit to the cold side. All right, so there is the close-up view. We'll go ahead and bring it back for the rest of the video. All right, folks, just want to show you one or two more things here before we move on. Now, this is actually not mounted to the concrete. This vise is mobile, and I have it mobile for a reason. This entire garage that I work in is not completely fireproof. As you can see, the wall behind me is not fireproof. My welding area is. But if I need to do some heavy grinding, for example, for a part that is too big that I can't fit in the welding area, I can use this guy and just kind of move them around, put them wherever I need to. 
Now, a garage floor is not going to be completely flat. Concrete never is. Um, in the case, or if you do do this setup and you have a little bit of a wobble, you may just have to take a metal shim to shove it in the base, and it should be fairly solid. Now, one thing I would like to explain really quick about post vices for those who may not be familiar with them. These are a little bit of a different animal when compared to, for example, your typical bench vise, like the one I have back here. Well, everyone knows what this guy is. Everyone's used one at one point in time. The nice thing about this guy is it is mounted to a table, so you can crank up, you can crank down, no big deal. A post vise is a little different, and the reason for that is this. This part that is mounted to this pedestal is kind of more like a collar. Now, there is a piece in here and kind of a shim that locks this C-shaped part against this front part of this collar, so this is wedged in here pretty tight. However, you do have the potential to actually pull this entire unit up and out of whatever you may have it mounted in, whether it's a piece of tubing like I have here or if it's a hole in the concrete. So, whenever you're using this vise, you always want to be sure you're never picking the vise up. And what I mean by that is, for example, if I'm going to loosen this vise to take this fixture out, I'm not going to pull up on it on this direction. I'm going to push it down, like this, to open it. And to close it and tighten it, you do the opposite. Instead of pulling up like this, I'm going to push it down on it like that to tighten it. There you go, that is my post vice setup. Again, folks, please subscribe to my channel. Please like my videos, please share my videos. Please comment on my videos. If you have any questions about shop work in general or metalworking, welding, blacksmithing, and that good stuff, please let me know. And thank you folks for your feedback on my latest video on this um, metal bending tool that I fabricated. I really appreciated it. So until next time guys, have a good night.